Teaming up with Entertainment Weekly to bring the stars of your favorite TV shows, your favorite movies back together. It's all part of the magazine's I annual reunions issue, and this morning it's the cast of Boy Meets World. It was a big weekend for two stars of the show, Danielle Fischel and Ryder Strong, both walking down the aisle in back-to-back -back weddings. We sat down with the cast of the classic show. Take a look. When the Boy Meets World. Friday nights on TV in the 90s meant one thing. TGIF. This is the greatest day of our lives. Yes! For seven seasons, ABC's unforgettable lineup was home to Boy Meets World. And Entertainment Weekly's special reunion issue brought the entire gang back together. Corey. Underpants. <laughs> Sean. Just need to get a little more hair in my eyes. <laughs> the girl whose hair and name you'll never forget. Their teacher from middle school. Hey, Mr. Feeney, what you doing? To college. Okay. <laughs> and the rest of the Matthews family to chat about the show that is now more popular than ever and immortalized on BuzzFeed and Twitter. I don't think any of us anticipated that after the show went off the air, it was going to gain in popularity, but people still seem to relate to it a lot, which is fantastic. Dabanga! We've really um, had a strong afterlife with the show. I think the themes in the show are kind of timeless. Little bro, life's tough, get a helmet. <laughs> it was usually big life issues presented in ways that were interesting and engaging. Corey, what did you do to your beautiful hair? Wasn't beautiful, it looked like Velcro. <laughs> What's this? Nothing was more engaging than the quirky Matthews family dynamic. Go, 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 go get him. And the iconic roles they all still get recognized for. My name is Plays with Squirrels. You get all the people that are now in their mid 20s that come up like, oh, I, I watched you, you know, I grew up watching you. I yeah. mean, that, that's kind of cool. <laughs> but for Mr. Feeney, played by William Daniels, let's not call it attention. I prefer Hooked on Feeney. It's a legacy that hasn't quite set in. The busload of young children bothered me and they started yelling Mr. Feeney, Mr. Feeney and they came toward me and I'm a coward I ran, I ran all the way around the block uh, the cast chemistry was undeniable <laughs> especially one dangerously funny but rarely seen duo what, too much makeup? too much ugly <laughs> Eric and Sean. They never let Ryder and I do scenes together because we would look at each other and start laughing. <laughs> so I think over seven years we've had like five scenes together. Now the trips back to John Adams High are marked mainly by the cringe-worthy wardrobes. Our fashion was pretty hard. Our fashion was dated. Ooh, Fair enough. The dinosaur the, shirt. Yeah, the dinosaur print shirts and the hoodies. <laughs> a lot of hoodies. A lot of hoodies. I wore blue and yellow. And I'm still not stoked on the hair. Like, that just was a, a horrible seven-year choice. You're the only one who wasn't stoked on your hair. But if you thought class was dismissed for good... Class dismissed. Think again. Corey and Topanga are returning for the highly anticipated Girl Meets World spin-off. When the spawn meets world. And it appears some things will never change. We're definitely all a little older and not at all wiser, but uh, it was still really fun. And we still have all the same jokes. It, yes, and I still laugh keep, at all of them. When the spawn meets world.